Okay, now for the process of filling the bag, unzip your bag, open it up. I've got my water pre-measured. I like to be near a sink. I'll pour, pour a amount of water into the bag. Bring the bag back in front of me on a counter of this type. I like to let the water work its way up, snap the bag, which tends to go flat just like that. You'll see that the water works its way right up. Oh, a little bit came out. And that's just fine. Now I'm going to snap and slide. Now that bag is full of water. Take a paper towel or something similar. Make sure that there is no water in the seam. So, okay. Iron is set to high and preheated for five minutes. I now take the iron on a paper towel, I'm sorry, a, a, a towel of some kind, and I give it a kind of a one Mississippi pass. You can go back and forth twice if you like. The bag picks up a little bit of a wrinkle, indicating that it has, has glued. There's no risk to your iron. The melting point on the outside of the bag is different than the melting point on the inside of the bag. That bag is permanently sealed. Okay, screw cap, silicone plug, cap, fill the screw cap bag, funnel, water. Okay, all the water's in. All I have to do is simply place this against my chest abdomen and I watch for the water to come up the top just like squeezing a bottle. As I see it approach the top, in with my silicone plug, just get it down below the edge, screw cap, and then that hard turn I mentioned, so you see this guy go flush to the bottom of the bag. There it is right there. Couple more turns. Okay, time to uh, get the cooler ready for the trip. Cooler shock. Coolers have pockets on either side to hold the ice pack. Put ice packs right in the middle of your goods. This guy now has three packs in there. This is going to be a very cold experience. Zipper close. And you're off.